The best flavored chips are ketchup chips. Yes, I said it. The best flavored chips are ketchup chips. Where are my Canadians at? <laughs> okay, I want to say this, guys. Yes. Yes, I did say it. If you're not Canadian, you don't know. If you guys don't know what ketchup chips, ketchup chips taste like, tastes like ketchup with chips. <laughs> but I'm just going to show you guys. So this is the brand I'm using. It's not a paid promotion or anything. It's the popcorn, the popcorn seasoning. So they do have a ketchup flavor a popcorn seasoning too. So we're going to use this with our chips. All right. So if you guys are from not North America, chips are, what do you guys call chips? I actually don't know what you guys call chips. <laughs> what do you guys call chips? Chips are not fries, but in Australia they call it, um, I don't know, fried potatoes? I don't know, I forgot. I'm sorry, Australia. I forgot what, what you guys call it. So, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna take our madeleine. If I got my madeleine at three millimeters or one eighth of an inch, all we're gonna do, slice down and make, ooh, make chips. Please be careful, okay? Use a, um, what is it, a blade guard when you do this, okay? Please. Don't go my speed, okay? When you get down to the bottom like this, just stop. Just don't go no more, okay? But me, I'm a professional. <laughs> oh, just go this speed. The blade is very sharp. Then okay, next, soak your potato chips under cold water for about 10 minutes. Just give them a rinse. 10 minutes in, drain it. And just let it sit there and just let it dry out. So we got canola oil here, heating for about 20 minutes, guys. And we're just gonna get ready to fry our beautiful potatoes. Make sure they're nice and dry before you chop them in, chop them, dump them into the pool, okay? Canola oil here, heating for about 20 minutes on a max heat. After 20 minutes, guys, sticking in chops. You guys see that beautiful bubbles right there? Okay, we ready. So, you must listen to me, okay? Because when water hits oil, it will sizzle. So please be careful, okay? So all you do, drop them into the pool. One at a time, okay? I don't care if they get slow. You just have to get in, okay? Once you drop them in, this is what you do. Woo! Wait. I've cooked a lot of potato chips back in my days. They put me on potato chips duty, and this is how I got it. Extra golden crispy, okay? I don't care how you do it, this is how I do it, and this is how you are gonna do it. And you're gonna make homemade fresh chips at home for you and your family, okay? Just keep stirring, be patient. Slowly and gently, okay? You want these to evenly coat the oil. <laughs> All right, after seven minutes, this is what you gotta do. You gotta shake off any oil excess, okay? If you don't shake off any oil excess, it's gonna, it's gonna sog up, okay? It's gonna sog up real well. And you're gonna like it. You're gonna like it once. Okay? Once you got it nice and drained. Right here. Chips! Yeah! These are original flavors. Let me back up a bit, my guy. We're gonna make it ketchup flavor. Where my Canadians at? Oh! Whew. Forgot. The lid kind of got excited. Where my Canadians at? I like extra ketchup. You see that? You hear the crispiness? Yeah! Ketchup chips is the way to go. It's better than barbecue and it's better than salt and vinegar. Because ketchup chips is a Canadian thing. Yeah, you guys gotta try it. Look at this. Guys, ketchup chips. I could have done this on a short video, but I just wanna talk to you guys for a bit. You know what I'm saying? Look at this. Ketchup chips. Quick talk. Let's go. Nice. Let's go this. Yeah. Honestly, this. Better than any chips you guys will ever make. It's still a little hot. When it cools down, it will harden up. So just give this, I want to say, Five minutes, okay? Just five minutes till it gets crunchy. Mmm. Mmm. That one's cooled down. <laughs> hey. I know I fried this, but I just feel like 
healthy, you know? Like, what's in this recipe? Potatoes, sugar, maltose, sodium, actually, I say garlic powder. <laughs> right, anyways, I feel healthy, right? Mm. Just let this cool down, and it'll get very crunchy. Mmm. Yeah, the perfect organic chip. Minus the flavor and coloring, <laughs> which I love. Mm. Oh man. This one's a little soft. It just needs to cool down, right? When it cools down, it get like this. It get like this. See that? Man, where my Canadians at? You guys know what I'm talking about. Mmm. The best part of eating ketchup chips is this. Wait, right, one more. Mmm. When you get the ketchup around your lips. <laughs> and this. I don't really like licking my finger, but I'll lick my finger for ketchup powder. Oh, man. <laughs> the best is when you get like a layer of ketchup powder right here and you're just like, and you have to gnaw on it to get it. <laughs> ketchup chips. The best Canadian thing ever. Let me try to explain it to you. Let me explain why ketchup tastes, what ketchup tastes? Ketchup chip tastes, uh, ketchup chip tastes like to non-Canadians. Mmm. Heaven. <laughs> it tastes like, let's say, take some ketchup. It tastes like ketchup and fries. <laughs> You take the ketchup chips or you take your fries and you dip it into fries and you eat it. Ketchup chips. <laughs> Someone be like, oh, that's disgusting. You eat fries with ketchup? Contradicting yourself, my guy. But I'm gonna tell you what it really tastes like. It just tastes like what I just said. <laughs> but I would say a little more tangy. Well, I guess it depends on the powder, right? But it's kind of like a barbecue chip. More tangier. And more ketchup-y. <laughs> Take your fries and dip it in the fries and eat it. That's how it tastes like. What better way to explain it? <laughs> mm. Oh, man. 